Hi everybody and welcome to this second of my five minute analytics tutorials. Uh, tonight I have a special co-host with me, my son Harrison. Harrison, say hi. Hi. Yeah, that's he's trying to do his deep voice there. It's kind of hard for him, but he's going to be nine this week, so I thought it's important he start out in his uh, podcasting career. So anyway, what we're going to be talking about today is keyword analytics and how you can analyze different phrases that are generating traffic to your site. So if you start out in Google Analytics on your dashboard, you click on Traffic Sources, and then on Keywords, and you'll get an immediate list of all the keywords on your site that, uh, sorry, all the keywords that are generating traffic to your site. Now in most search engine, in most analytics packages, uh, you're going to see that you can pick between paid and non-paid keywords. If you click on non-paid keywords, my son's being a little bit of a, this may be Harrison's last uh, co-hosting opportunity, but we'll see. Uh, you have to click on non-paid so that you can see all the non-paid keywords, all the organic search keywords that are generating traffic to your site. I always start there because I want to see which phrases are generating traffic from the organic results. Those are the ones that are generally going to be showing me uh, the, the concepts for which search engines find my site to be the most relevant. So here what you can see is I have a list of different terms starting with Google Analytics tutorial and I can see pretty clearly number of visits, pages per visit, average time on site, the percentage of new visits, and the bounce rate. Now Google Analytics tutorial is a very good term for me. You can see that here because my bounce rate is only 56%. Uh, average time on site is quite high, 4 minutes and 28 seconds. Why is that? It's because all the content on my site that deals with Google Analytics uh, tutorials is all video, so people are staying to watch it. Uh, phrases like landing page, which actually is a little bit of a surprise to me because I don't think I have any good rankings for landing page. Uh, phrases like landing page also generate decent time on site, a minute and 13 seconds compared to an average of a minute and 20 seconds, and about one and a half page views per visit. So that's the basics, and one of the things you can do with this is okay, I know that these are good traffic generators, so I'm probably going to want to go and take these top five keywords and I'm going to want to write more content on my site about them because not only are these keywords generating pretty good traffic, they're also generating fairly high interest. If people are going to be spending four minutes on my blog uh, watching video content about Google Analytics, I'm going to want to provide more of it, which is in fact why I'm sitting here right now while my son does sketching uh, to, uh, to talk to you about Google Analytics. Same goes for landing pages, marketing strategies, and internet marketing strategies. Those are all great phrases. So you're going to want to do the same thing. Look for the phrases that get uh, a low bounce rate, a high number of pages per visit, and a high amount of average time on site. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll switch over to paid. Why look at paid keywords? And obviously I'm not doing any real Google, any PPC campaigns for my blog, but uh, you look at paid to see if there are any keywords that are generating high quality traffic to your site in paid that aren't generating any traffic to your site in unpaid. Why would you do that? Well, because take a look at this. On the phrase marketing ebook, if this was 20 visits instead of two, uh, I'm getting an average of 10 minutes on my site. That means that I probably want to try and gain a decent ranking in the organic rankings for the same phrase because we know testing it in paid search that it will generate good traffic for us. And that is why we often talk about how paid search is a great test environment for organic search because you can use it measure it over here under paid, find out that this is a really good keyword, and then focus some of your organic search optimization efforts on generating traffic and getting relevance for that particular phrase. And that's it for today's quick tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. The next one will be a little bit more about search analytics, and uh, I'll explain in a week or so. See you soon.